Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with uh, another bonus lab read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. Topic of the reading is, what is it that your person is currently thinking about you? What is it that they are having on their mind about you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, let's see. What is it that you, uh, person of yours is thinking about you? Um, just be mindful before I dive into the read that it's a general read. It may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and read the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's dive into the read and let's find out what is it that your person is currently thinking about you. What do they have on their mind about you? What do they think about you and the connection that they have with you? Let's tap into all of that in this read. So let's begin. I feel like you know, right now, they believe that nothing is going to come out of the situation that they are having with you. Uh, be that you are in no communication, be that you are in communication. Something is definitely off the track right now in this connection that you have with your person. Now for some of you, maybe you are talking with this person but you are dragging this connection. Maybe you need to put an end to the situation with this person. Why? Because somehow the toxicity that has been created in this connection is something that needs to end. And when you stop talking to each other, only then it will end. For others of you who are in communication, uh, in no communication, I feel like you know your person really believes that in no communication, yes, they believe that they and you um, are going to have nothing in this no communication situation. They will have to talk through things. They will have to fight for this connection. They will have to uh, get rid of their mental, physical, emotional blocks. So I feel like you know either way, an ending is a must before you could have something new beginning in this connection. So if you are talking, if you're dragging this connection, if you are the one who's putting effort, I feel like you know they really feel that this connection has no more, no more attraction left or no more uh, fun left in this connection. So allow this connection to dissolve and then start this connection with a new clean slate around it. I feel like it's very important right now for the two of you to let each other go so you could think through things. Right now, things have become toxic and right now you have to let it all go basically for majority of you. If you are in an ending already, you are not talking to each other, then you have to let this connection, uh, you know, start again. If you are in communication, but it has been kind of toxic, it has been kind of, uh, you know, fighting and arguments only, you have to let it, you know, end, basically. That's what they are thinking. Right now, even if you are in touch or out of touch, this person is really believing that nothing is going to come out of the situation. Something different has to be done. Let's see more cards here. Uh, look at the bigger picture. I feel like you know, this person can be able to, uh, you know, uh, is able to basically think through things right now. Either way, they are wishing to look at the bigger things. Now, for some of you, though, for those of you who are in touch, um, I feel like you know, this person might be telling you that I think we need to look at the bigger picture. We need to move on from each other and this and that. For the ones who are uh, dealing with the no communication, maybe your person is thinking that, oh my God, I cannot survive without this person. So trust me, if there is an ending, this ending is going to lead this connection to a better beginning. Uh, so allow it to end. If you are having separation, allow it to be like this way for some time. Heal yourself. Let this person be healed. And uh, once you both have healed, trust me, you're going to come back stronger to each other because the connection that you feel is so strong it's not going to be broken with a mini breakup. Uh, so allow things to dissolve, the negativity to dissolve right now. And if you are already in separation, trust me, your person is thinking to look at the things from a different perspective where they can see how important you are to them. Uh, let's see more cards here. Work through your fears. I feel like, you know, there is a lot of fearful energy in this situation, in this connection. So right now, you know, for those of you who are in touch, maybe your person is like, you know, having fear of commitment, uh, fear of giving in, fear of marriage, fear of like, you know, um, taking things next level. Like, you know, they are not feeling ready to go for that. For others of you, maybe your person is having fear of uh, what if you move on. So it's going to be different for different fishies dealing with a different person right now. For some of you, for those of you who are in touch, I feel like your person wants to push away. Leave, walk away from your life right now because they feel the toxicity in this connection which is perfectly fine allow them to go for those of you who are already in separation your person really wants to be with you why because they feel that maybe you're going to leave them you're going to move on from them so again try and understand where you are stuck and where you should be stuck right now instead i feel like you know for those of you who are trying so hard to make the connection work still it's time for you to let it go let it flow 
then for those of you who are already in separation, trust me, your person is about to come back to you. Why? Because they could understand, they could feel, they could, uh, you know, they could sense their own emotions developing for you to the point where they are finding it very hard to stay away from you. They are not letting their fear stop them to take action towards you. So instead of like, you know, trying to pursue them to convince them to fall in love with you to marry you to understand this connection allow this person to do that on their own it's very important right now so i feel like you know your person is really 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 thinking about all those things here let's see with some uh, cards from the tarot also let's see what is it that your person is currently thinking about you what is it that they have on their mind about you for you for this connection let's see Page of Cups, they are trying to hold their emotions back, feelings back from you. For majority of you, you might be uh, in no communication with this person or um, in, you know, in each and every way, your person is trying to hold themselves back and trying to suppress their feelings, but they are getting overwhelming for them. I feel like you know, their, their work could have been the reason why they are kind of, you know, a certain way. They have other goals to achieve right now. Uh, they do have feelings, but they tend to kind of let their uh, emotional side uh, suppressed and their practical side kind of like you know be the thing to to uh uh to you know operate with so i feel like you know they are trying to suppress their feelings right now as well but this is not going to last for long they will not be able to hold their emotions back again if you are in separation already you are very close to get what you want with this person but if you are in touch and trying to stay connected to this person it's going to get worse Try to let it happen, let it go right now. I feel like a new person really believes that, um, you know, they need some time alone to think through things. And once they do that, they will feel that their life is stuck. They feel, they're going to feel like, you know, they're, you know they, they are unable to operate without you. So allow this energy to happen because right now I feel like you know, they're feeling love for you, but they are trying to keep themselves busy with their work right now. But this energy is not going to last for long. This will end and they will feel like, you know, they need to come towards you. They need to talk to you. They will, they will make the decision that they have to take. Uh, I feel like you know, for some of you, your person might also start seeing you in their dreams or they might see some uh, divine messages which are going to align them towards you. So it's very important right now for you to basically allow things to happen right now and then you will have the last laugh out of the situation. I feel like you know you have nothing to worry. All you have to do is let it end if it's ending. Let it flow and let it come through. The tension, stress that has been like uh, kind of like you know so stuffed into this connection has to release. Now, how do you release this? Like you know, it's, it's more like you know the stress, the tension that you are having. It's like for for instance, this is you, this is your person. The connection that you are having is kind of like you know getting so rigid, it's getting so tight, it's getting so um, unhealthy. Let it break. Once it's broken you will you know the energies that you're carrying around this connection is going to go off you will start feeling normal they will start feeling normal and then you're going to think through things and then you're going to heal yourself they are going to think through things they're going to heal themselves then they're going to think about you right now with the stress that has been added to both of your lives that needs to end right now once it's gone once it's over then only you will be able to see the future that you want to have for yourself with this person without this person whatever it is going to be for majority of you yes you are coming together um so allow this ending because this ending is basically something that you need to let go of and i feel like you know, somebody has to make a decision after the stress is over after this like you know or somebody has healed themselves so i feel like you know maybe you both need that time apart from each other right now for for the two of you to decide through things because right now you don't see things for what they are you are either creating a lot of stories around it you are assuming a lot of things around it or you are just feeling so very negative or you are picking up arguments fights with your person you just have to allow that to go um and try to be good with yourself right now maybe you need yourself more than anything else right now and they also need themselves right now to figure things out for themselves so just allow the person to have that time i feel like you know after a phase of uh, you know some some time like maybe a month or so this person is going to understand what they did you are going to understand what you guys kind of like you know did in this connection and how you have healed once you have healed yes they are going to come back to you because when you are healed they are also healed so allow the energy to come back to you stop you know uh, pursuing this stop um uh you know uh trying to push this connection forward just allow it to end allow it to go because i feel like you know your person is also trying to you know it's a small like 
they, they, they don't want to work on it right now. They don't want to stress around it right now. So allow them to kind of, you know, have their space. Maybe they are craving for that. Maybe they are like, you know, wanting that space to think through things. Let them have that space instead of like, you know, you trying to stay connected to them. No, allow them to have that space and let them have the fear that they're going to be having, that maybe you're going to move on. And when you are in separation, detachment, ending, trust me, this person is going to miss you more than they ever did in the past. And they will come back towards you to offer you something stable, something big, you know, something beautiful. Let's see what major shift can you expect in the coming days to weeks time with this person. What major shift? What major shift is going to come through for you? What major shift is going to come through for you? So we do have the star and uh, the death. I feel like you know there is a lot of change coming in for you in love life with this person, especially. A lot is going to change, a lot is going to transform, a lot is going to be beginning in this connection because with an ending, there's always a beginning. So allow this to happen. And for those of you who are in a twin flame journey or a soulmate journey, I feel like you know you're you're this time to happen this way. Maybe you have been trying to resist this ending for so long, and now it's like you you know you are getting hurt by holding on to it and still you are not letting it go. Just let it go. That's what you need to do. Let's see the oracle guidance for you in the given situation. What is the oracle guidance for you in the given situation? Because I feel like you know, for some of you, yes, they want to come back, and for the others of you, they want to let it go. Uh, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible in this uh, at this time. I f uh, I feel like like I said earlier, it's very important to let it go, let it be, um, forgive and forget. Whatever has happened has happened. No, you cannot change that. Try to heal yourself. Let this person heal themselves right now. Allow the time apart from each other to heal. Uh, one another. I, I feel like it's very important right now for your connection. Phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. I feel like you know, there is a lot. Like for some of you, maybe, maybe you are going to realize that maybe this, uh, um, you know, um, this, this um, connection that you've had with this person was nothing, um, you know, that, that, uh, that is what you desired in, in your love life. Like for instance, maybe you always expected this person to give you this and that, but they never gave you what you wanted out of them. You always wanted them to change to that, uh, you know, them. So there is going to be a lot of clarity coming in for you in, in regards to this connection. So allow that time apart from each other to, un to make you, uh, you know, uh, to, to give you the clarity. What is it that you actually want out of this connection? And uh, make you understand, do you want this person even? Because I feel like you know, there will be a lot of differences that you have, uh, you know, when it comes to this connection. Like maybe you are uh, you are a certain so-and-so and you want your person to be a certain so-and-so. And this person is completely the opposite. When you have that time with yourself, when you heal yourself, when you meditate, when you try to allow things, when you try to surrender things, there will be a lot of clarity coming in. For some of you, you might choose to walk away from this person for real. Like, you know, you guys, you're going to feel like, Maybe you, you don't want them back even. For others of you, you might like, you know, be willing for, for this person to get back to you and to reconcile with you when the time is right. And that would be okay too. Because if that's happening or if that's your you know, inner feeling around this connection, means that it's going to meant to happen. If, if you feel like breaking free from this person forever, for real, uh, when you have healed, when you have kind of, you know, understood everything and you have healed your wounds from this person, maybe you would choose to walk away, which is perfectly fine again. Because you are going to understand what is meant for you and what is not and you are not going to hold on to anything which is like you know pushing uh, which is basically pulling away from you you are going to be like you know okay fine what is mine will come to me so that attitude is a must right now for you to have towards the current situation towards the past as uh, towards the future as well i feel like you know when you have that opportunity when you guys come together to talk through things to have the closure to start a new beginning be that uh, individually or be that together you are going to be having a lot of understanding and maturity to deal with that. So, um, yeah, I feel like, you know, right now, it's very important for you to allow things to end because right now your person really wants that ending, which is must. Be that they are in no communication, they want to end that. If you are in communication, they want to end that. So make sure that you are on the receiving end. And how do you become on the receiving end? If you are with this person, if they are, you know, wanting out of this connection, allow them to be out of this connection. Because that's when you're closer to what you want with this person. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe to I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.